I say we get back into it. Um, I've really missed filming. Like, there's some videos I was going to post, but I never finished them because just a bunch of schoolwork. <music> up it's your girl T back at it again with another YouTube video so I call this my bougie on a budget makeup because pretty much I've been getting a lot of compliments on it recently so let's get started <laughs> yeah pretty much this video is going to be like a full coverage makeup look but yeah I've been getting a lot of compliments like thank you so the first thing I do is I put on moisturizer and then what I'm using right now is from Cetaphil. I think that's how you say the name. Okay, the next thing I put on is this primer from e.l.f. It is the Tone Adjusting Face Primer. And I think they made a new one. Um, I think it's the same thing, but it just looks darker. So don't get these confused, but notice they're both purple. So this one's lavender and this one's like deep purple, which I love. So yeah, I go in with this and this pretty much gives a nice sticky feel. Mm, sticky's not a good word, but it pretty much helps the makeup stick, if that makes sense. So yeah, I put this on. Okay, so for foundation-wise, what I've been using recently has been L'Oreal. And I have two different shades because sometimes my skin gets lighter, and sometimes it gets darker and it tans more. So it just depends. But recently I've been using Caramel Beige W7 and the True Match L'Oreal Foundation. And I don't use blendy, bl I can't not talk, I can, I, no. I don't use beauty blenders. So you can use your be beauty blender, but I use this brush. I know it looks crusty and dusty, but this is what I've been using and it's been working pretty well. And I get a lot of compliments, so, <laughs> so <laughs> jokes on you. So what I'm gonna go in with is Sun Beige W6, and I just do that. I just did. I really get it on my gray comforter. I surely did. Yay! That's fun. Freaking. Okay, we're gonna try to clean this up. <laughs> Now it's on my desk. Just oh, gets better. Pretend like you're Bob Ross and this is your paintbrush and you're creating a beautiful canvas. You can't just paint the bottom. You can't just paint the top. You have to paint all over to really get the look you want. Okay, so right now you look crazy. I know, but I swear when I look in the mirror, I look normal. So what we're gonna go in with next is my Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with all, all herbs and rose water. Yes, and this is for all skin types. Seriously, when it says it's for all skin types, it is, cause my skin feels rejuvenated. So I'm just gonna and this <coughs> is also going to give it that um, that um, that finishing touch, that um, tacky um, stick to the foundation, make it last all day look. Also, it makes it look more dewy. So now I go in with a lighter concealer, but this is from Wet n Wild. I know, and this is the makeup stick conceal. It's cruelty free. Yay. But this is in shade You're a Natural. And this is number 809. So pretty much what I do is I just go over wherever I want to conceal my face. Right here, put it on my nose. If you want to go see a triangle, it's like a triangle. Here. I keep just a little here. And yeah, that's pretty much all. And then I go in with my Beauty Blender from e.l.f. It's so cute. I got it in a set. It's like the three. You can get like a small Beauty Blender, a medium-sized one, and then a large one. And so this is the small one. It's really cute. And then I just go in 
with this. Then I conceal my face one more time by using MAC. And this is um, the NC42 concealer. And this is the Studio Finish Concealer. And it has SPF 35. <laughs> I pretty much go in with this and I take my finger and I just swirl in the concealer. And I just take it and I pretty much swipe it. I don't think you're supposed to swipe it. Oops. But that's what I do. I just pretty much swipe it or dot it under my eyes, my nose, my cupid's bow, um, on my chin. Once you're done, I go back with my brush and I just blend it in. Pretty much when I'm done, I go in with my CoverGirl CG Smoothers. That's what it's called. And pretty much this is a pressed powder and it is a translucent medium in 715. And I go in with this and I use the little dabber thing and this helps set my makeup so it stays all day. So I pretty much put the pressed powder all over the places that I usually have creases, which is under my eyes, um, my smile lines, because I smile a lot. Now we are going now we are going to go in with our bronzer and this is from wet and wild as well and it is in the makeup stick contour set this is in the shade call me maple and it is number 805 so i just put this yeah i put this right here and since i have like a heart shaped kind of um kind of head I guess I should say I do a heart shaped little contour on the top of my head and then I do it under my cheekbone and I put it like under here just to make it pop and also too I put it right here Oh, and under my cheek, under my cheek, so you can see um, the definition of my cheeks. Oh, oh, and one more, one more, I promise. And here, actually, one more after this. So, so then I put it under my lip to make my lips, so to make my lips look more fuller. So now I will blend this out, make sure it's nice and crispy. Oh, and these brushes are very cheap. Like, it is not that expensive. It it's not that expensive. And this is like an all-purpose brush, too. So now I'm going to warm up my face, and I'm going to go in with L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. It's in warm, and I believe it's in W6 Sun Beige. And pretty much the more you like put it on your face, the more it warms up your face. So I just go in with a, a big brush, I believe. Yeah, so pretty much I go in with the big brush I have. And I just take it and just blend it in. So yeah, that's what I use it for. I usually use it for a bronzer or to warm up my face. But yeah, this just gets really messy. So now I'm going to go in with blush. And pretty much this is from CoverGirl. Um, what shade is this? This is the Cheekers. <laughs> That's all it says. All I know is it look. Oh, maybe this is what this one's for. Okay. And the color is Natural Rose. And the number is 148. And I use my e.l.f. angled blush brush. And I just go in with this. And it comes with a brush, but I'm just being all extra. So I'm going to take a little bit of this, even though I'm using a lot. I'm going to take a little bit of this and just give myself some nice chiseled cheeks. And then, too, I put a little bit on my nose because it looks like you're blushing a little more. So I just boop. And, yeah, that's all. Mm -hmm. Let's go in with mascara. So I use this for my eyelashes if I don't want to wear mascara. 
and I use this for my brows to tame them so it's up to you what you want to use but I'm going to go in with my length and volume mascara so I will say that when I use the um, what mascara was it the length and volume mascara it was very clumpy so what I did is I went in with the length and volume mascara first and then I put on the three and one mascara so next I'm going to go in with my brows and this is from elf and this is the brow pencil in the color neutral brown I really like this because it looks very natural you don't have to do much you get a crispy eyebrow and it's from elf so why Anastasia I don't know so I brush my brows first and it doesn't really take me a long time with my brows I know it takes people so long that they have to go off camera and then come back on with their brows on it just it doesn't take me that much time so I pretty much just fill in all the spots that I want to make look full so yeah oh my god <coughs> Bless me. So, um, what was I saying? So, for my front part of my brow, I know I get a lot of questions. How do you do that? Do you do light? Do you do dark? Do you do medium? So, I just pretty much keep it very simple. I do like two little streaks. I do one, two. Okay, that was three. But um, pretty much, I keep it light. Um, I don't do it too dark because then it just looks like Sharpies. Um, like I literally drew on a sharpie on my eyebrow and I don't do it um, too light because then it just looks like I lost my eyebrow so <laughs> yeah that's how I do it and make sure you really define the tip of your brow because I see most girls nowadays where their brow ends here and that's not cute so <laughs> just make sure you fill that in okay now I'm going with my eyebrow tamer gel and I just go in with this and I just brush my brows out and this helps keep it tame I don't know what you're doing but if you just use the tip of the very toppity woppity of this brush mmm this will slick it down Boop. So, yeah these just look crispy get our Mario Badesk spray and just Spritz it all over your face to give it that dewy look. Once again, just uh, rejuvenate the skin. And once you do that, your face should really feel soothing. And that's when we put on the highlighter. This is the best time to put on highlighter. So we're going to go in with this little brush. It can be a clean little brush like this or not. I don't know. And so it kind of looks rose gold. I think I said the shade of this. I think it's like apricot or something. I'm just gonna go in with this and. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know what? This is. Wow. Elf did that. Elf freaking did that. Who would have thought Elf would do this? Elf, what did I do to deserve this? What? <laughs> this apricot no job. Whoa. Whoa, it's like a bean. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. So clearly this makeup look is natural. Um, but you can spice it up a little bit. And I'll be having a Christmas makeup tutorial soon. So you'll be able to see that before Christmas time. And... Get your little makeup. You know, you can buy yourself this makeup before it's Christmas and do my Christmas makeup look. Okay, yeah, let's do this quick. Fast, fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much you should be good when it comes to highlights. Like this, this did it. And I'm proud of Elf. Like we've been through a lot. So, yeah. And then this is the last step. Stop applauding. Stop. Oh my gosh. You're so kind. 
stop it, please. Please stop. Um, so we're going to go in with our lip gloss. So I really like keeping the lips simple. I feel like the makeup already says a lot, like bougie on a budget. <laughs> Isn't this this video? I think so. So what I do is I go in with either one gloss or another gloss. It doesn't really matter. But if you want a clear lip gloss, go in with this Stay Glossy Rimmel London. Um, this is in clear. Um, they have different shades. You can go in with this. Looks very natural. And two, I have some leftover mascara. Oh, no. And two, I have some leftover foundation on my lips. So it kind of gives it a more natural look. Yeah. But if this does not satisfy you, if you're like, no, I want to be bougie on a budget. Well, I got news for you. So this is the Fenty Lip Balm. And I love this. We've been through stuff. And pretty much it's in her signature gloss balm. Signature pink. Ooh, look at that reflection. And the funny thing about it is it's like a mirror. So you literally can like put on lip gloss and look at your lips in the mirror. But that's not my business. So I just take the... Oh, yeah. I take this. And this is just all I need. Like, yeah, this, this, this does it. So, oh man, I didn't look at myself in the, oh, you can't. Oh, because it's on the stick. Mm, but yes, this is all you need. This is it. This is the final makeup look. Mm, it's kind of a natural everyday look honestly you can do a natural everyday look but it just takes a while in my opinion but if you do it very quickly and smart and you manage your time you can probably do this in five minutes if you really want to don't forget about the giveaway yeah don't forget about it you can win a $25 visa gift card um, a Starbucks gift card for $25 like you can win it just follow me on my Instagram my snapchat um subscribe to my channel um and then on instagram go on any one of my post pictures just any one of them and put hashtag giveaway or hashtag gift card so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and bye <laughs>